Morning guys, it's 6.30 in the morning on a Thursday, which means we have the coffee club every Tuesday, Thursday morning at 7.15. We go on Instagram Live and we answer everyone's questions from the day before for an hour. I'm about to do that, then we're gonna catch up. Oh mate, I think Carly's actually in love with our DPD trailer. Oh, why? Oh. Hi babe, how you doing? Let's stay. She always wants to have a chat with Carly, but I, I, I answer the door. And I get the password, he goes, right? He's moving on your girl, mate. Friends go, it was simple. When the air's low, switch yeah, the tempo. Love actually, that's a Christmas movie. All right, guys, take it easy. Right. Toodles. Hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, it's, it's been a little while, so Leon is back vlogging. I love it. Um, I think for for quite a while now, I've been doing the majority of the YouTube videos. Um, and I think... It's partly probably my fault that Leon hasn't been doing so many of them, if I'm honest. I mean, I, I like getting really creative and doing transitions and all that kind of stuff. And it does make vlogging a real ball ache. And it really takes sometimes, a lot of time, takes away the basics of vlogging and just talking to you guys. You get so hit up with, God, oh, before I go into this coffee shop, I need to think about the transition from the last place into the next one. And you, it, it all becomes a little bit scripted and it loses a lot of its feel. And one thing Leon's really good at is just being himself, talking to the camera. Um, and I think, I think you take away, for want of a better term, you take away some of his sparkle by making him have to, have to, have to do that. Um, so we had a chat the other day and he, was like, he said that he felt a, a, a bit like not because of me, but he just felt like the pressure of trying to create transitions and all that was a lot. And I just said, I was like, but everyone's good at their own stuff, mate. Like, you don't have to do that. And even on my side, I think I kind of, I've been a bit spent on it lately, recently, hence why I haven't done a video for about a month or so, just because it does take a lot out of you to do that all the time. And, and the way that we do all these kind of filming and these techniques and stuff, it takes at least two people. So if you're filming by yourself, it's not, it's not really applicable. And then it made me feel like, because I do so many videos like that, it's always training with Zach or it's training with someone else. It's like, but do I really kind of have our identity on the channel anymore? Does anyone really want to listen to me talk like this? So I guess, I, I, in my, if I'm being honest, in my head, I was like, well, no one wants to know what the fuck I'm doing with my day. No one wants to know what I'm doing with Bobby or what I'm doing with Rose. Um, but regardless if you do or don't want that, that's what you get today. <laughs> um, so I, I apologise, Leon, if I made you feel that way. I know we're pretty honest and we know we know how things go, but um, it's nice to have you back. I'm really happy that the audience put a ton of comments on there for you. I know you're filming another one today. Um, and thank you guys for, for still being around and all that kind of stuff. It's been a long time for me and Leon. We are not the same men boys we were when we started doing this we are men now um with dads we're we're older we're wiser uh, all that kind of stuff you know it's just it's just a natural progression of life um but anyway a lot's been going on since we last did a video there's a ton of shit out the front of my house which i need to get rid of today because we've been doing a lot of a lot of changes been kind of tightening up the house just kind of making it more of a home um before we get into anything i'm going to show you some I apologize if the light's not very good in here, but I just had a bunch of MDF, as you can see this room's always a mess at the moment, and just made these big kind of walking cupboards so we had a bit more space. So I got all our clothes and shoes in there, and I made it with this little mag magnetic stop, which I might not be able to do with one finger, to be honest, one hand, but any oh, hang here. But all my tools are in there, so Bobby can't get in there and, and, and just wreck stuff, really. It should be soft closing as well. And this, is gonna be Bobby's play kitchen. She's got an oven there. Uh, Rose went to the effort of getting like little spoons and stuff for it, little fake cob. Um, and Rose, bless her, used fishing wire to like fake kind of little jewels thing to make it look like water's coming out of the sink. We put a Belfast sink in there, little microwave, and the wallpaper's super cute. It's like foxes and stuff. So we're really excited to give her this. I've just got to uh, change that door, paint it, uh, put the soft, like the magnetic closes and stuff on it. And then we are a good one, and I think she's gonna really enjoy that as a Christmas present. And then lastly, I've started to retile the bathroom. Looks like the whole bathroom's tiled. It's not when I turn around. And you see, I've still got to do here. I've got to fill that bit of plaster in. I'm gonna make a new bath panel. But it looks a lot better than it did before, which is why we've got to get rid of all of this stuff. Gotta get it all in the back of my car to the tip. Oh, 
Jeez. Okay, client notification's done. A few buckets of tiles. There's a lot more than I realized that I took off the walls. It did take a long time to do that, so it doesn't make sense. So there's gonna be a few trips. I might do a trip now and then do a trip at the weekend. Um, I've got some other things that I wanna do at the weekend, so we shall see. We'll get these ones over to the tip, throw them out, come back, and then we need to go into the city to film a little bit of footage to try, and uh, we're creating a promo for our TLM training, which I'll tell you more about later. Um, and I need to get a bit of footage, sounds weird, of Imagine someone's walking down the street, but there's not actually people there. It will all make sense later. <laughs> turned into a bloody lovely day. I'm going to train at the box. Bit of squats today. It's meant to be rest day, but I'm squatting anyway. Cheers, Malt. Go hard day and night, one to one, no surprise. See the hate in their eyes. My brother's blood money bleed. I got the game in the squeeze. What would you do for some green? What would you do for some blues? Go pick and choose, the family the cheese. Some people not built like that. Some people get killed like that. Pressure like water, lights, mortgage, I been at bills like that. Now I got kids like that. No wonder why I feel like that. Some people go to war for nothing. Me, I go to war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Some people go to war for none. Me, I go to war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart. I won't die, I'm a fight. I go down, better strike. I go hard day and night. on the line. Oh, that was a good session. I couldn't talk in there because uh, the copyright for the music. Um, my training for the last five months has all been strength on legs. I've been squatting about five times a week um, and it's just started to come to a tapering or, or less of those squats. And it's like, do I do enough to keep those squats in and just to keep that strength up? Um, but actually I want to carry on getting stronger. So today was a rest day, but I just wanted to, I haven't hit all my sessions this week, so I wanted to come in and I just wanted to get under some weight on some squats. Um, I deadlifted for the first time in a long time yesterday uh, and it was pretty heavy and there's lots of sets and my back was a bit pickled. So I put belt on and stuff earlier. I went up to five kilos off PB, which is a new PB for back squat, which is good. And then I just front squatted 120, which is 15 kilos off PB, pretty easy. Um, well, very easy. I actually um, PB'd back squat by nine kilos and front squat by 10 kilos since doing the squat cycle. Um, five kilos on snatch, so I hit 100 kilo snatch, uh, and a couple of kilos on um, on squat clean as well, which is gonna go up again soon, which is nice. Um, so that's kind of really what I've been focusing on. And now we're just starting to 
drip a little bit of fitness in there. So that's not a workout I've done with Zach before and it's always a challenge. It's uh, a 10 minute EMOM of 10 burpees, oh, sorry, 10 wall balls and then 10 burpees. Um, if you can do 11 11 and great. I think Matt did 12 and 12. I did 10 and 10 and I was happy to finish that. That shows that even though I haven't been doing much fitness, there's still some kind of capacity in there, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I was far from 100% today and still go up. Well, that's actually only the second time I've ever squatted 155. Um, I don't know if it's an inter of interest to you guys, Guys, when I started CrossFit, so what, roughly four years ago, um, I had a back squat of about 120 kilos. Um, that's probably a push, and it's now 160. Um, what was it, 165? 160. Um, so super happy there. Um, and I haven't been like doing strength cycles all that time. Like there's been strength cycles here and there, and then there was broken collarbone and trying to deal around just injuries from my, my poor foot mechanics. But we're getting through all that kind of stuff. So oh, actually a very good session. I'm very happy. Um, now I'm just gonna go and get this little bit of footage where I said walking down the street, make sure that works because we are releasing January the 4th, uh, TLM training. So we're super busy with our online coaching since we launched that two years ago. We, oh, Matt just picked up my wedding ring. Thank you, mate. Thanks for sure, that. Legend. And my engagement ring, I'd been very told off if I dropped that. Um, yeah, so TLM training, super excited. Basically, we, we coach a lot of people. We're always full, which is awesome. There's people on the waiting list. So we're like, how can we help more people, but maybe not give them as, as much of us? Um, the people that do our TLM coaching, they pay more because they work with me and Leon privately. We, we talk regularly. We have Skype calls, all that kind of stuff. TLM training is going to be just your training it's going to be for the price of a coffee a week so it's going to cost you 12 pounds a month all your programming is done whether you want to do just gym based training or you want to do more functional type training like leon and i do there's going to be uh, two separate ones so you can just start doing it and follow the program all of the weights or the big weights like your compound lifts your deadlifts your squats if you bench press if you've got them in on your plan will work off your one rm percentage there will be an rpe scale if you don't know your one rm but if you know your one rm and you put it into to the benchmarks when you come to do right you've got five by five deadlifts today it will tell you your exact weight because it's worked off your one rm maxes which is wicked uh, there's gonna be challenges involved there's gonna be a community going on um and we just like january perfect time it's been a hard year for a lot of people money wise the some people have still managed to keep hold of their gym memberships but probably can't afford pt and stuff like that so i was like well let's do it for them so Everything is periodized every sixth or seventh week. There's a deload week. I've programmed the, the gym training one, so I'm going to take you through lots of different kind of training styles, whether that's um, full body splits, whether that's... Um, we're not actually programmed this one because I thought it would be too boring for people, but German volume training. So there's lots of every six weeks, there's a different focus, there's a different style of training to keep it fresh for you guys, as well as a few challenges as well. And we're really excited to launch it. Hopefully it's gonna, well, it's gonna help a lot of people, which we're super excited about. And it allows us to reach out and help a lot more people without giving up all of our time because we just don't have enough of it. Ooh, what are those marks on my window? Odd, odd. Anyway, maybe there was a suction from when the window was put in, I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, let's go. I woke up this morning and I feel like I've been hit by a bus. Like in, in lockdown and everything, I've been doing my squats and that's really it. I just do my leg strength and then I don't do any fitness and I just focus on that. And I'm glad I have, but now I start putting in more volume like yesterday's wall balls. I am so sore. I feel like I've got like 10 people hanging off my arms. Anyway, uh, today's Friday. Just done my Friday check-ins with my clients. Uh, Leo and I have to go to the box shortly um, to film our promo for TLM training because uh, obviously that launches January the 4th. It doesn't give us much time really to kind of uh, promote it to people to get everyone on board. So last night, we just had the update from CrossFit for what this year's Open is going to be. Leon and I are still unsure whether we're going to do the Open this year, um, which we'll talk about in another video. Don't want to give you too much in one video, but it looks very exciting. Because people haven't had gyms and stuff, the first part of the Open is going to be accessible for, accessible for people to do at home as well, which I think is great. And then there's a semi-final and a quarter-final. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe a top 10% from the initial stage go into the online qualifiers, which is more like the open open, and then it kind of goes on from there, because you might find that you've got some people that are very fit and they can do, let's say if these home workouts and workouts you do in a gym are very just kind of fitness and dumbbell orientated, it doesn't necessarily give the people that have elite strength to kind of um, show their strength really. So it'd be interesting, I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a nice change up on things. I think it's gonna spark up the open again. And I think, um, 
Oh, what's his, just lost his name. You guys know who I'm talking about. But the guy who's uh, taken over CrossFit, I think he's done, uh, Eric Rosa, I think is his name. I think he's done a very good job so far. Super interesting. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see what happens with my boy Zach. Actually, if you haven't seen uh, CrossFit on his YouTube channel the other day, released a, a video about Zach. It's called The Gentle Giant. Check it out. It's wicked. And that is where I'm going to leave this video this week. Thank you very much for joining us. Please do leave comments. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. Any thoughts you have on what the open setup is going to be like. If you want to ask me any questions about what I've been doing on my squat cycle, why I was squatting so much, how did I manage to recover and stay injury free, I will happily do all that for you in the comments or even do it in another video. Please just let me know. It'd be fantastic if you could thumbs up this video because it lets more people see it. I'm not going to spend all day selling it to you. If you made it this far, I'm sure you guys will do that anyway. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.